Hey guys, welcome to Protein Treats by Nutricel. I'm Melanie Waldman, and as you can see, today we are making some really fun, mystical frappuccinos from Starbucks. Except these ones are gonna be sugar-free, tons of protein, tons of fiber, and actually really good for you. So are you ready? Let's do a unicorn and let's do a dragon together. All right, so I made these a little bit earlier. These are the actual ones using our Nutricel. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can make yours at home. So to do this, you're gonna need some ingredients that might be a little bit unusual. Let's start with the unicorn. You are going to need a little bit of sugar-free white chocolate syrup. You're also going to need some coconut milk. I have a can of coconut milk here, and then I have a quarter cup of coconut milk right here. And then I have these neon food coloring. You can get this at any grocery store. And I have some sprinkles. So I have the blue and the pink sprinkles. You can also get these at most grocery stores. Now, of course, these sprinkles are made with sugar, but we use such a tiny amount to dust across the top that it works out to be almost zero grams of sugar. So we're gonna be grabbing some of these. I'm also using a little bit of gel, pink gel food coloring, just to make sure we get that really, really bright pink that we're looking for. And the unicorn frappuccino actually has a mango flavor. So because we want ours to be sugar-free and healthy, we have, this is a Mio in a mango peach flavor, which is almost the same flavor you need. You can also use, I know that Da Vinci and Tarani syrups do come in a mango, I just didn't have one. So you can use some of this. And then in order to get that sour taste that we want in the blue gel that we're using, I'm using some citric acid, which is really, um, essentially it's vitamin C, your citric acid. And so it gives a really sour flavor. If you don't have citric acid, you can use Kool-Aid, the unsweetened Kool-Aid. If you're going to get that, I would get the blueberry flavored unsweetened packets. Unfortunately, we're in Canada and Kool-Aid got bought by Kraft and so you can't get them in Canada, but if you're in the US, you can totally get it and I'll, I'll show it in the link below. The other ingredient that you're going to need is some guar gum and you can also get these at almost any health food store. Some of your local grocery stores might carry it as well and guar gum actually comes from a plant, it's pretty healthy, and it doesn't increase your blood sugar, and it's a great fiber. So we're gonna put that in, it's gonna be what thickens up the blue gel that we put along the side. So let's show you how easy this is and get started on our unicorn one. Once we finish up our unicorn, I'm gonna show you how to do the dragon in this episode too. To make our blue syrup, we are going to put our quarter cup of coconut milk in here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that right in there. And then we also are going to use a quarter cup of our white chocolate syrup here. And this is a sugar-free syrup, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in a quarter cup of that. Perfect. And then I'm going to add two teaspoons of our citric acid. Now, if you're using the, the Kool-Aid, then you can go ahead and use about the same amount of the unsweetened Kool-Aid. Make sure it's the unsweetened because that's the only sour one that you're gonna get. So I'm doing um, two teaspoons here of the citric acid and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right in. And then in order to thicken it, I'm using this guar gum. So in order to thicken it, I'm using this guar gum. And same thing, I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of guar gum and it's gonna thicken up pretty great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there and I'm gonna start whisking it here. And as you can see, as I'm whisking it, it's getting a little bit thicker. So now I'm going to add my neon blue food coloring and you're gonna need quite a bit of food coloring because you want it to be pretty bright blue. I would say I put about 10 drops in. And you can see here, you wanna keep going so that it becomes thick enough that it coats the side of the bowl, just like you want it to coat your cup when we pour it in. 
Okay, so you can see now that it's gotten thick enough that it still coats the side. So we know it's ready to go ahead and use. And I'm just using one of these condiment squeeze bottles. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna pour our blue mixture in. All right, so to make the frappuccino part, it has a mango flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add one can of coconut milk here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that right in. And then I've got a little over a cup of ice, so as much ice really as you would like. Go ahead and put that in. And then to get that mango flavor, I'm going to add a generous amount of mango. I would say I'm putting in here almost a tablespoonful. Um, and you're gonna kinda wanna go by taste. So you want it to be a pretty, pretty, you wanna really be able to taste that mango. So the only other thing we need to put in now is our vanilla neutraline. And that's also gonna give it some of its sweetness. So we're gonna put in two scoops of our vanilla neutraline here. And then we're gonna add some of our pink food coloring. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a few drops here of the, using the neon pink. There we go. And that's it, we're gonna put our lid on and make our frappuccino. <sighs> Look at that, it looks so good. All right, now all we have to do is go ahead and start making our unicorn. So you're gonna take the blue, the sort of blue gel that we made together, and I'm just gonna shake it a little bit, and then you're gonna squeeze it right along the sides of the cup. So I'll kinda hold the cup here and show you exactly how to do it. You kinda wanna zigzag along the inside. So we'll just, just like this. Remember, this blue flavor is really sour. So we're gonna have that nice mix of sour and sweet. So look at that, we have our cup all done with the blue. And now we're gonna take our pink frappuccino that has the mango sauce in it. And we're gonna pour that right on top, just like that. Look how good that looks, you guys. So yummy, and now I'm gonna top it with some whipped cream that I've made. Now you can use any kind of whipped cream you want out of a can, but I made homemade whipped cream, so I'm gonna show you how easy that is to do. Okay, I've made my own whipped cream. Now I am using real whipping cream and a little bit of sweetener to make mine, just in a stand-up mixer. If you want, you can also use the full fat part on the top of, uh, of your coconut milk and that will make an amazing coconut whipped, whipped topping as well if you wanna keep it a completely dairy-free recipe. So here we go. I'm just going to put our whipped cream across the top here. There, now we've got our whipped cream on here. And now all I'm going to do is take my pink sprinkles on one side, and my whipped cream is not holding up at all. <laughs> and my blue sprinkles for the other side. Okay, so my whipped cream isn't quite as solid as it was when I made it a little bit earlier today, so it's a little bit flat looking, but you know what it does. Here we go, this is our super delicious and it's about to become very messy unicorn frappuccino. And as you mix it up, just like the real one, you get that mixture of sweet and that mixture of sour. So make sure you don't leave yet. Don't, don't turn around because we're now going to do the dragon one, but I'm gonna taste test this because I'm making a giant mess here. Mm. Surprisingly, they're really pretty good. This one though is guilt free. So good. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make the dragon one for you next. This one's super easy and super fast to do. 
All right, so now we are going to make the purple syrup for our dragon frappuccino. Now, in order to make the syrup, you are going to need some berry flavoring. So I'm using some raspberry flavoring. You could use a mixture of raspberry and blueberry if you want. And I've got a quarter cup here of my coconut milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of the coconut milk and a quarter cup of my sugar-free raspberry. So we have equal parts here. I'm just gonna put it, oops, just gonna put it right in. And then you are going to need a teaspoon of guar gum again to thicken it. So I'm just going to add my guar gum, just sprinkle it right over the top here. And I'm just going to start mixing it really well. And you're gonna see because of the raspberry that we used, it's already a deep red color. So that means in order to make that purple color we're looking for, we're just going to add some blue food coloring. So go ahead and add, start out with five or six drops and then add more as you need to, to get it to that purple color you want. So look at that, we have a beautiful purple color and we wanna wait for the guar gum to thicken up just a little bit so we have exactly the right thickness to use as our syrup. And now we're gonna do just like we did for the unicorn. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to pour our gel, our syrup, I guess we could call it, right into my little squeeze bottle. Trying to make, try not to make a big mess like I'm making right now though. Okay, the secret here to the actual frappuccino part is it's really a vanilla bean matcha tea. So we're gonna go ahead and, and we're going to add a teaspoon and a half of our matcha green tea powder. So I've got just a little over a scoop here. Make sure it's about a scoop and a half. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you really want it to have that matcha green tea flavor and color. And then I'm going to add in my vanilla neutraline. So you're gonna wanna have at least two scoops of your vanilla neutraline for each serving. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. And so we've got one cup of ice here and we have a can of coconut milk. So just like we did with the unicorn frappuccino. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in. And then of course, we do want it to have that really green dragon look, just like your dragon scales. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add a few drops of the bright neon green, and I'm gonna add one or two drops of the blue, just so we get that green color we're looking for. We'll put our lid on and make some noise with our frappuccino here. All right, that looks so perfect. And actually, it smells really good in here. Okay, so now we're gonna take our squeeze bottle and we're just gonna go ahead and squeeze out our purple gel. Just a nice little pattern up and down, just like a dragon would. Just like that, and it even looks a little bit like dragon scales. And now we're going to take our matcha green tea here and fill it right up. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. And we're gonna take our whipped cream, our homemade, or if you're using it from a can, go ahead and do that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, doesn't that look good? And now we want it to really look dragony. So what I'm going to do is take more of our syrup here and I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna drizzle it. Just like this, right across the top. And look at this, we have a matcha green tea vanilla bean frappuccino and it's got this amazing purple berry all the way around it. It looks just like the one that you can't even get at Starbucks anymore. And let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Oops. If you love matcha green tea and you love vanilla, you're probably really going to like this one. Of course, we have saved between these two shakes, we have saved over 120 grams 
of sugar. How crazy is that? Make sure you stick around because up next we're going to show you one of our customers that sent in her picture. She is down over a hundred pounds. Pretty amazing so I want to do a shout out for her and I hope you enjoy your Starbucks copycat healthy version of our mystical creations here. Make sure you subscribe so you get more healthy recipes that can help you lose weight too. And we will see you guys back here next week. Thanks guys.